Hey guys, it looks like Billy Mitchell and Carl Jobes are going to trial. Now, I had thought that based on Billy's previous settlement with the Twin Galaxies, which was before trial, that Billy would have tried to settle with Carl Jobes as well. As well. Maybe they have, and we just haven't heard anything. Both sides have been very quiet. It looks like right now, without the announcement of a settlement, which would have made been made public when you go to trial there is a very very smaller chance of settlement than pre-trial pre-trial is like hey we didn't waste anybody's time the judge the jury and so on most settlements happen pre-trial when i mean most i mean like 90 95 99 percent when you go to trial you are basically saying hey let's fight let's go at it let's have you know it's not going to be a good time for anyone but let's go at it and see what happens. So this is a very important case for YouTube in particular, mainly because, uh, as you probably can guess, uh, it will have ramifications for many other YouTubers, right? So if Billy Mitchell is able to sue Carl Jobs and win, then Billy Mitchell may decide to sue other people. And theoretically, that would give him the confidence, right, to do so. Uh, and it would help people like Logan Paul. It would help people who are like Mr. Beast, right? And Dog Pack 404. Um, overall, it would be a very big loss, in my opinion, to YouTube. Now, do I think Billy Mitchell is going to lose? Yes, I think he's going to lose. I think he's going to, I think Carl Jobs will win. However, court is weird. Court is just weird. We had, um, not to go too much into my own personal case, but we had a judge that really, really liked the uh, plaintiff. So I was the defendant. Uh, they really loved the plaintiff for some reason. And everything the plaintiff asked for, even though it was very invasive and somewhat not even constitutional in my personal opinion, uh, he granted the plaintiff. And it's like, no, no, no. But at the end of the day, like, you know, hey, um, it sucked to be in that position. So you could have a bad judge. You could have a, a jury that you selected voir dire and may not be responding exactly how you thought they would respond. In defamation especially, it, it will look very one-sided. It will look like this guy, Carjo, is being a bully. He's making multiple videos. And here's why it looks like this. And again, I, I hope Carl wins. I, I'm pretty sure he will win. 95 98 percent positive but there's always that little window and that's why you always try to settle before going to trial because settlement is a certainty so whatever you and the other person agree on in terms of settlement it is a certainty there's no wiggle room right this is what it is in this type of situation there is not that certainty right there is the ability for it to sway even very very rarely in billy mitchell's favor so, so back to my original concept why, why i'm making this video most of you hopefully will never have to deal with a lawsuit in your whole life uh, i had to deal with one recently i was supposed to be a witness for my other one uh, we'll see how that one or not. I'm not being sued in the other case. I'm just a witness. Uh, I was previously sued and I can tell you the system is pretty pretty it, It's very interesting how the system works It does take a lot of time. It does take a lot of resources It takes a lot of money and if you have the money and some and you're willing to spend it and the other person's not you can probably win most of your cases in settlement you can force a settlement, which is what Billy Mitchell did to Twin Galaxy. Twin Galaxy simply ran out of money and didn't want to continue. So they let Billy get whatever he wanted, right? Or they, or they, they were willing to negotiate with Billy under, quote, new evidence. Uh, that new evidence being like, oh, this random witness. And it says that it could be possible, <laughs> right? Uh, that, that was the new evidence they cited as to why they were settling. When you deal with someone like Billy Mitchell in the legal court, there are a lot of Billy Mitchells, man. There are a lot of Billy Mitchells, and they're hard to deal with, man. I've dealt with my own Billy Mitchell recently, and they're not logical, they're not reasonable, and they just want payback. They just want revenge for whatever they wanted. I mean, it is a scary place to be 
for the part that you cannot control. You you cannot say, oh, let, let's reach a logical conclusion when the other side is so set on just burning everything. Even if they have to burn down with the village, they're going to do it. Um, that's my gut feeling that you know, everyone thinks that Billy Mitchell is going to lose, and he may he probably will lose. But if he wins, it's big trouble for YouTube. For many YouTubers who are critic, uh, you, you know Logan Paul will take... I don't even know. Maybe Logan Paul talked to Billy Mitchell before. Who knows? But you know there are people out there who don't take criticism very well online. And they are ready to hammer. They have the money. They have the... And oh, back to why I think that there is a chance, right? There is a chance that Billy Mitchell could win. Is because Car Job's social media is so much bigger than Billy Mitchell's. So Billy Mitchell has almost no social media. He's got five thousand Instagram followers and and so on. He doesn't get the clicks. He doesn't. Car Job's he's got a million plus views on all of these Billy Mitchell videos. So it does seem very one sided. Now for public figures and so on, the reason that public figures are you're, you can talk about them is that they supposedly have the ability to respond, right? So a private figure, so my next door neighbor, for instance, they don't have social media, they don't have a YouTube channel, so it would be very unfair for me to blast my neighbor because he doesn't have the ability to respond in kind. Um, well, I know Billy Mitchell is a public figure. I, I don't think there's any doubt of that. But the difference between Carl Jobs and Billy Mitchell in terms of their subscribers, in terms of their views, it it actually doesn't, you know, in, in, in YouTube, it definitely helps Carl Jobs get his point across. But that, that's the idea, right? Is that, hey, I'm just a small time influencer. And this Carl Jobs guy is like, thousands of times bigger than me and when he posts a video really does affect me that's the narrative for defamation right that that's i'm not saying it's going to work i'm i'm saying that's probably the the if billy mitchell is smart he'll go in that route where yes he's a public figure but when somebody has a million subscribers and they keep making videos about you even if they are true, which is a, a defense against defamation, that will be, but it's a affirmative defense, which means Carl Jobs has to prove that this, this information is true via you know, discovery and so on. So this trial is going to be super important because if Carl loses, it will be a disaster for most content creators on YouTube who are critical of people like Logan Paul, Graham Stefan, we haven't made a good Graham video in a while. What what did he say? China's in fire again? He's always saying something about China's economy, right? He's never been there, but he's sure got a lot to say.